I have made the tutorial for the analog to digital converter and this is how it looks it looks more like a telephone or a small gun like something this being a hole and this lights being the main shaft of the game something like this okay there you go this is the analog to digital converter this is the analog to digital converter it looks something like this the input is from that side given from the counter to this wire through block you can see this one between the LED and the counter goes back here from here the one two three four you can see dots those are actually at uh, the position of the bytes like for example if I say five five is zero one zero one yeah zero one zero one oh yes it's zero one zero one so that means the first byte is zero the second is one the third is zero the fourth is one it works something like this mm -hmm. it works something like this so now let's say if i take four zero one zero zero so the two goes so one is zero two is one three is zero four is zero so you have understood it so what basically an analog to data converter does it just converts your normal value to an binary value a binary value consists of only zeros and ones so i've used light bulbs that if it is one light will glow if it is zero the light will not glow like for this example the value is zero and currently no light is flowing now let's first run this um run this circuit first so that we can actually understand what's going on and then we can we can, I can explain you how have i made this circuit what i have thought making this circuit and all those things so this one going to be a short one so no need to worry so first i'll put one so you can see the last light bulb glows now why does it glow is because the one is zero 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 one zero 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 one that means the last bulb should actually glow while the rest should not glow which is happening the circuit is right in here in two uh, many people misunderstand two as zero zero one one no that is zero that is three not two two is zero zero one zero so zero zero one zero is two you can also refer some google for uh, referring this uh, binary numbers or if you're a cs student you should actually know it what it's exactly let's go to three it's it's showing me zero zero one one four one zero one one like at five six seven eight that is thousand nine thousand and one a b c d e f and the f is the last one where you can see all of them are lighted up and then i go to zero i haven't put anything in my overload if you remember what is an overload so there's nothing as such in overload if you want you can just put a another counter and add something but i'm not interested so now let's see how it is made i have shown you where is the analog to digital converter here it is okay now the one goes to the first bulb that's a simple one one goes to the first bulb you can see it yeah the one from the dot one it goes to the bulb one from two it's a big long circuit like this going to do three from down bring up connecting here four rounding down okay here going up connecting it four. so the making of the circuit is quite easy so that should not be a big problem the problem and problem un is understanding so you can so go to recipe yeah, analog to digital converter you can just read the description it says it's an electric analog to digital converter converts one analog signal 
fed to its back to four digital signals output through its sides you need to place a DAC on a wire through block uh, DAC is a digital to analog converter which will be our next tutorial in which I'm going to teach you how to convert digital signals to analog signals analog numbers on a wire through block element to be able to provide the input signal can be placed on any surface and rotated to desired rotation so it's uh, you need not to place a DAC first and that what they mean is like you place a DAC connected to an ADC so basically converting digital to analog and then you are converting again analog to digital that makes no sense so I will use counter here so this is actually how analog to digital counter works mm, there is nothing as such anymore in this uh, what, now question arises now why have to use the analog to digital converters you can use analog to digital converters in truth table circuits which will be taking in the um, fifth tutorial that is after DAC fifth will be truth table and then memory banks and we'll go complex ones so thank you for watching this tutorial make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and leave comments if you haven't understood yet thank you